Bacteria introduced into an environment abundant in needed resources grow in a specific manner. Initially, individual bacteria are still maturing and are not yet able to divide. This is termed the lag phase and can last from hours to days. During this time, bacteria are producing whatever proteins are necessary to live within the new environment. Replication starts and rapidly continues during the second phase, termed the log or logarithmic or exponential phase. Bacterial cells undergo binary fission at a constant rate, and thus the number of bacteria increases logarithmically. That is, one bacterium divides into two, which replicate into four, which then produce eight, and each individual bacterium in the process replicates at a constant rate. As the bacterial population continues to grow, the nutrients are used up, and waste products from the bacteria build up in the environment. The loss of nutrients and buildup of waste products can cause the environmental pH or temperature to shift, which in turn makes the environment a less optimal growth area for the bacteria. The reproduction rate slows and the total number of bacterial cells present stabilizes as cells begin to die off or stop reproducing. This is thus termed the stationary phase. Because antibiotics usually act during latter stages in the cell cycle, during replication of DNA, synthesis of cellular components, or mitosis, bacteria in the stationary phase are less susceptible to antibiotics than bacteria in the lag phase. As all nutrients in the environment are used up, the bacteria population enters the final phase, termed death or decline. Individual bacteria begin to die off from lack of nutrients, and eventually the number of dead cells exceeds the number of live bacteria. At this phase, the bacterial population is either radically reduced or completely destroyed.